What's up everybody, it's Roaming Gaming here. So we are six days away from PlayStation Experience 2016. It's gonna be really exciting. Can't wait for the show to happen, of course. Uh, they are gonna kick things off with the, you know, as usual, the PlayStation Showcase on Saturday, where they're gonna be having this press conference, announcing a lot of new games, hopefully, uh, and showing off some, some footage of maybe existing games that we have already seen, of course. And traditionally, I will have to do some kind of predictions video, of course. Uh, before I do that, let me really quickly tell you when exactly uh, this is going to take place so it will be like I said next week on Saturday December the 3rd um, at 10 a.m. PST which is in California where it's being held uh, this is also 1 p.m. in Eastern time zones uh, that means it translates to 6 p.m. UK time and 7 p.m. Central European time uh, if you're in any other different time zone you're gonna have to figure it out for yourself real quickly can't possibly of course mention them all but uh, with that being said yeah you know for me personally it will be at 7 p.m. on Saturday uh, and I can't wait to live stream it you can watch it on twitch.tv slash robinoyo. I'll make sure to, uh, you know, to watch the event together with you all on Twitch and live react to it and stuff. And we can all discuss what's going on there in the chat, obviously. So it's going to be really exciting and cool. But for now, I would say, you know, let's just simply get into the actual, um, you know, my predictions for the show. So, yeah, let's start off immediately with the, I guess, safest prediction, the one I've already been talking about. Uh, Uncharted for single player DLC will be shown. That's my very first one. What can I say about this one? It's pretty much confirmed up to this point. Like, we all know it's gonna happen. It just has to because the game has been out for like six, seven months. Uh, at some point, they have to push this DLC out so they can focus on the next thing again. And uh, still, nonetheless, it's gonna be a big event. Like, I'm sure it's gonna be an epic DLC just like The Last was Left Behind was. I, I can't wait to see what Northrog exactly has done with this. And hopefully it's gonna... Um, you know, prove to be this story that will really add something to the game. I've already been talking about that, but I am very excited to see what it will be, of course, because as a big Uncharted fan, this is pretty much, you know, one of the things I'll be mo looking forward to most next year uh, is this DLC. So I can't wait to see when exactly that's coming out and what it will be about. But that's my first prediction. We're gonna see this being shown off at PlayStation Experience. And if I'd have to do it on a side prediction for what it will be about, I guess the safest bet for me personally is that we will see both sad and Drake in the DLC. So yeah, that's what I would say right now. Uh, my number two is kind of to, to contain excitement a little bit, I guess. And that's that I feel like there's just going to be lots of indie games once again shown off to the point where it's probably at least half of the press conference. That's what I would predict. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because that I remember still very well about last year's PSX. We were really looking forward to it. And in the end, we were kind of disappointed because the only, you know, big games they showed off then was like, I remember they showed off that Uncharted 4 Cup scene with Sam where Drake you know sees him again for the first time after so long you see the choices and all that kind of stuff um, and that, then there was the the Final Fantasy 7 remake which got this big gameplay trailer ish you know some more footage added on top of what we had seen at E3 and that was already cool but I remember uh, you know as soon as that pretty much ended that part uh, it was just indie game after indie game after small game uh, whether it was still an exclusive or a Sony published game just really the smaller type of games where a lot of people walked away last Last year from PSX, pretty disappointed. Now, I do think Sony has learned from that and we're not going to see a focus on indie games that much anymore this year. Um but, like I said, I would still predict that out of the one or one and a half hours that the show will be, that half of it is probably going to be indie games and the other half will be actual big games that a lot of us will be looking forward to. So, uh, yeah, that's my second prediction. Now, the third one is actually for a brand new game that we will be seeing. And the game I'm predicting, the new exclusive that I think they will be announcing at PlayStation Experience, is going to be the new game from Sucker Punch. Of course, Sucker Punch is responsible for creating the infamous series uh, Infamous Second Son. It's been quite a while. It came out, like, at the beginning of 2014 we are almost in 2017 now so uh, they've been working on something for a good three years you would you would think or at least two and a half because they also had first light coming out of course they have been working on something already and I do think it's not gonna be infamous like it has to be something else uh, which I, I I don't know you know are they gonna do something literally crazy where it's not gonna be anything like infamous at all or is it still gonna be something new but in the same kind of category of maybe being a superhero game we're just gonna have to wait and see they did take that time, so they're probably just creating a brand new IP, something new. So I do think that it's most likely going to be actually also a different maybe kind of genre, just like what Guerrilla has been doing with Horizon Zero Dawn. Um... 
But yeah, you know, I think that for my third prediction, we will be seeing what the new Sucker Punch game will be that's coming out. And I'm definitely going to be looking forward to it because it's a very talented studio. They make great games. I can't wait to see what they've got coming up. Uh, then my number four prediction is that, of course, we will be seeing footage from a lot of games we already have seen announced before. And the games I think we're going to see new footage of are, are Horizon. Not really a, you know, that's a pretty safe bet, I guess, Horizon. Uh, I think we're going to see Detroit become human, possibly, because... You know, that game has also been announced, like, already quite long ago, like 20, 2015, maybe? yeah, 2015, I think it got announced at the, at the, what was it, one of these, oh, maybe the Paris Games Week uh, uh, event that they did in October 2015 or something. So that's been quite a while, I feel like they really need to show more, because that game just has to release in 2017, and I do think we're gonna see both Spider-Man PS4 and the Crash Bandicoot remasters, and also with those games, I think that they're both supposed to release in 2017, um, um, so I would just assume that, you know, they have to start showing a little more to people if they want those games to come out. Crash Bandicoot is going to be like a summer game. Uh, Spider-Man could be two, I guess. Maybe four, but... Um might be a little bit of a risk to release that in the fall, I guess. But anyway, yeah, I really feel like they're not going to wait all the way until 2018 with the Spider-Man game, I would hope. Although, that one I'm the least sure about, I guess, out of all of them. But I think we're going to see Spider-Man, Crash Bandicoot, and Detroit become human. We're going to see at least a bit of new footage from those games that we hadn't seen before. Uh, and then the final prediction, this might be a little negative to end on, I guess. But I just had to put it out there. Although, it's not in, in any way, of course, uh, a fact that this is going to happen. But I don't think... We will be seeing it, the Last of Us 2 announcement. I've been talking a bit already in the previous video, uh, and there were recently some more rumors with an industry insider who had been hinting that we might actually be seeing The Last of Us 2, that he had seen something that's completely crazy or something. Um, and it made a lot of people, you know, get very excited and, and expect that we might actually get to see The Last of Us 2 at PSX. But I will once again say, like I did in my last video, I feel like the chance is just a little bigger that they're gonna wait with that and announce it at E3 next year. Uh, rather than now already at PSX 2016. It's still possible, I'm not ruling it out. My prediction is simply because the chance for me personally is a little bit bigger that they're gonna wait and see with that game uh, until E3, that my prediction is that we're not gonna see it here yet at PlayStation Experience uh, 2016. Nonetheless, it's gonna be a very exciting show with lots of new games being shown off, footage of all these you know big games that we're looking forward to. We're gonna see the Uncharted for single player DLC most likely. We're gonna see at least one or maybe even two, you know, Know, new exclusives being announced for the PS4 so absolutely can't wait to uh, watch it with you all together on Twitch like I said twitch.tv slash robinoyo you can watch the event with me together hang out in the chat and it's gonna be great fun um and yeah, that's going to be, like I said, next week on Saturday at 10 a.m. at PST, 1 p.m. EST, 6 p.m. UK time, and 7 p.m. Central European time. So, with that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your predictions in the comments, of course. And then, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.